Hi everyone, I'm sitting in my new office of my new house and I just wanted to let you know that my merch just came out. It is soy kyoi. Ew. Please don't subscribe to me for saying that uh, like that. So we have the No Sleep Club hoodie, the Christmas crew neck, which is very cute. And every little bit of it is parts of my family. There's a worm for Wesley, the ladybug for Maisie, the cactus for Eric, the truck for Flint, the cookie for me. Gus is on there, it's amazing. We have relax hoodies, a Christmas shirt. It's really cute, it has a little palm tree on the front and it has a cute little like rocket ship moment on the back of Santa and Gus and Daisy are in his rocket ship. Very fun, very cute. We have No Sleep Club crew neck. It says, I'm No Sleep Club. I'm very tired with like a little Christmassy scene and matching sweatpants. Very cozy, very, very cute. We also have my favorite piece, which is the No Sleep Club onesie. And it's two onesies in one because it's the blue navy No Sleep Club. And then you can turn it inside out. And it's this really cute plaid onesie that is adorbs.com. And then the final thing, I don't even have it in my possession yet, but it's the I Cry A Lot crew neck. And it's like a pink grandma cross stitch moment. Very cute, very fun. And I think we also have like the pink tumbler, the creative juices tumbler or something. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go. Um, here's the vlog. Love you guys. Bye. Hello everyone. We are at the new house. Everything's getting packed in today and we're gonna have a little picnic it's in our backyard. Right oh, here. thanks. Oh, where's your straw? It fell in. Oh. Ah. Just trying to drink it. We're gonna have a little picnic and see how much stuff has been unpacked. Eric's been here since very early in the morning because he's a superstar. I am overwhelmed but excited. Look at your snack pack. Well, a candle. You brought your candle. You brought That's a cute little picnic. You need that candle for the house. Mm. Is that pumpkin? Did you know that you're doing that now all the time? Eric's new thing is he's going, ooh. <laughs> I did the same thing. I from the Negroni. Bring this to Oh my goodness, that's just crazy. I'm looking at my new house. That's your house. Yeah, I also brought this and this. We're at the new house. Flynn got a little paper cut and um, he wants a band-aid. Everything's in boxes. So I have to try to figure out where no, I have first aid a band-aid is. Car. Yeah, check the car, check the car. You guys, luckily, one of the movers had just opened the box of medicine things. And it's a truck band-aid. Yes. Do you want any medicine on it or just plain? Plain. Okay, where is it? This little booger? Yeah. Like that. Ta da! Truck band aid to the rescue. Guys, I have so much to do, but instead of doing it, I'm lighting some Christmas candles. So it smells like Christmas in my new house. Today is a better day. If anyone is interested in how I'm doing emotionally, I haven't cried yet today. Um, it's been a really hectic day. Our house is full of boxes that I need to empty and figure out where everything goes. And there's not quite enough room in this house for all the stuff that we had in the other house. So I'm like, half of it, I'm like, I don't know where to put this stuff. I don't know if I should just like get rid of everything I have or try to figure out storage. I don't know what to do. I'm all but freaking out nervous. I'm about to go through and try to empty some boxes. Got my little tape measure here to measure a bunch of the spaces to see what kind of furniture I need to buy and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I don't have much to report to you guys other than I'm stressed. Oh, oh, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, you are telling ghost. <laughs> My mom's making meatloaf. We've had a long moving day of crazy. And now, mom's making meatloaf. Mom's making meatloaf. Oh my God. Hello, everyone. It's the next day. I didn't film any more yesterday because I was unpacking. Moving is so intense. I guess I've never I've never moved like this before. Like I've moved from apartments. I've moved from a home to another home, but like I was only living in that home for like a year or something before. I've, I've never lived longer than like a year in a, one place, except for like my childhood home. I was born and raised in the same house and then I moved to college with just a few things. And then ever since college, like literally every single year or less, I moved. Like, I'd live in a place for nine months, eight months, a year, whatever. And then the house that I bought, I've lived in for so many freaking years. I don't even know how many years at this point, like seven? Six? I actually have no idea. A long time, many years. And um, it's been really hard because it's also not just me. Every time I've ever moved before, it's been like, I just have to deal with my stuff. But now that I'm dealing with all my kids' stuff and kids have a lot of stuff, it's been absolutely insane. My brain is just going a million miles a minute. I am losing my mind. So I didn't vlog anymore yesterday. And today we have just been unpacking boxes as much as we can. Actually, we're not even unpacking boxes yet. What we're doing is organizing where boxes go. This house is so much different than my last house the rooms are all different the space is so different there's nowhere to put anything because there's no is an older house so there's no like built-in like cabinets and drawers and dressers like I had at my other house there's nowhere to put any of our stuff so we have to figure out where we want stuff to go and then we have to buy cabinets and stuff to be installed into those spaces so right now I'm just trying to figure out the map of the new
new house in my mind and where things go. This is all boring, I'm sorry, I should not be explaining that. So we haven't technically even unpacked anything yet. We've just been moving all the boxes. So like, these are the boxes of things that go in my room because I'm in my room right now. Everything right now is just like putting boxes where they go, emptying some boxes if we can, you know, like setting up the beds and the dressers and, and stuff like that. But mostly it's just like me panicking. So that's what we've been up to. It's been very, very stressful. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys down to my office. It's full of random boxes right now at the Hot Mess Express. My new office. <laughs> Literally just boxes ever, and I've already organized all these boxes and gone through them all. I literally just placed them where they go, but like this is all stuff that was in my walk-in closet in my office before. So my office in my last house had a, a literal huge walk-in closet where I could keep all the fan letters you guys have ever sent me, all my fan art you guys have ever made me, all the gifts you've ever given me, all of my Miranda costumes, all my Miranda props, all my filming equipment. Like it was a big walk-in closet and I have no closet here. So I think I'm gonna have to buy dressers and things and figure out where to put stuff and store stuff, maybe get a storage unit. It's very overwhelming. It sounds like we're downsizing pretty big. We are and we aren't. It's just a very different kind of house. Like everything that my last house was, this house is completely opposite. We're downsizing in some ways, but we're also not in other ways. Like I'll show you guys the house eventually. Like once we get a little more situated right now, it's just like a hot mess and everything's everywhere. But yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've never been able to talk about before and I can finally talk about it. I'm like a little nervous to talk about it, but I guess I'll be brave enough to talk about it right now for a second. One of the main reasons why we really needed to move from our last place is because we didn't feel safe there. When you are a person that people know, a celebrity, a social media person, like whatever, people become obsessed with like figuring out your address for some reason. And this is not something I have ever talked about before really. I mean, I kind of have a couple times, like when I lived in New York doing um, waitress and someone figured out where I was staying at my apartment there and they were like waiting outside my apartment. I talked about that once, but it was because I knew I was leaving that apartment. But at my house, I could never talk about it because I lived there. And if I talked about it, it would mean more people would then be like, oh, we can go to her house and they would show up. And this is something that a lot of like my friends who are in the industry who are well known, whether they be like mainstream celebrities or social media people, we talk about this often, how frustrating it is when people figure out your address and show up to your house because there's nothing you can do about it. You feel very violated and like, I can't explain the feeling. It's like, it's like one of the worst feelings I've ever felt in my life. And we can't talk about it because if you talk about it publicly, then more people will be like, oh, we can go to her house. Look, someone went to her house. I'll go to her house. This has happened to so many of friends of mine. That happened at my last house. People would spread my address, talk about my address, even if like they meant well, they'd be like, oh my gosh, Colleen, did you know this is your address? And then like tweet it to me and be like, look, you guys, Colleen's address is out there. Whether it was like, ha ha ha, we got her address, everyone just spread it and being mean. Or whether it's people being like, oh no, did you know this is her address? Look, it's right here. Everyone can see it. Both ways are like spreading my address and like, were making me feel more and more unsafe. Now it's one thing to just spread the address online, but like people were showing up to my house and I've had to move multiple times because of this reason. People would show up and go through my mail, knock on the windows, peer through all my windows, bang on the door, scream outside my house. I had people at my last house constantly outside screaming, Miranda, Miranda, come outside, like screaming at me. It's very uncomfortable and it's very unnerving having thousands or millions of strangers know where you live. Cause that's just, I mean, obviously it's, Make me emotional, always surprised I'm always emotional. But it is a very violating feeling when people show up to your house that you don't know and you don't know what their intentions are. It's really scary. So every time it happens, which um, it happened quite a bit at my last place, I would have panic attacks and I always felt like I had to look over my shoulder. And, and even though we had really good security and incredible like cameras and alarm systems and fences and everything, there's still like only so much you can do when it comes to like how you feel like inside and feeling safe. So even though we went to the utmost extreme to keep ourselves safe, you know, and we're doing the same at this new place with like security systems and alarms and locks and gates and obviously going the full. <laughs> There's still a really uncomfortable feeling that happens um, where you feel very disrespected, very uncomfortable. I felt like a lot of times, a lot of nights, I feel like I had to like hide from the windows in case people were peeking in or cars would slow down in front of my house. It makes you very paranoid. It makes you just really scared. And especially when you get a lot of terrifying messages on the internet, obviously you get a lot of love. You guys are incredible but I also get a lot of messages from people who say they want me to die so when you get messages like that and then you see people talking about where you live it's this very scary uncomfortable feeling and so that was one of like the biggest reasons why we really wanted to move that was a big reason why we had to leave my 
dream home was because, you know, people would show up to the house, take pictures. Like I would see people come up to the windows, like right up to my, this was years ago before we got better security, but come right up to my windows and my door and like take, try to take pictures inside the house. So we had to obviously frost all the windows, get better security, get better gates, get better cameras. Even though we had all that stuff before, we had to like up it all because people were literally trying to like film inside of my home and film inside of my car and bang on the windows and scream outside my house. It's just very uncomfortable, not fun feeling that caused a lot of anxiety a lot of stress and now that I have kids it was just even more important for us to like find a new place that felt a lot safer anyway I just want to say if you ever see a celebrity or social media now that I'm like I'm a celebrity but like if you ever see like social media person a celebrity or anyone honestly and you see their address or personal information or phone number or just anything personal like that spread all over the internet don't share it don't spread it don't go to people's houses I really can't explain how unnerving and scary and um, uncomfortable that that is it's really really a horrible horrible feeling especially with someone with like anxiety it's really not fun hi thank you so much sorry our gardeners came in and was chatting anyway just remember that people are people and human beings and I want to um, have privacy sometimes but all that being said it's not because I don't love meeting you guys and seeing you because I do genuinely love that that is like my favorite part of my job is when I'm on tour and I do meet and greets and I get to meet you guys and seeing you after the shows or when I'm out and about and people come up and say hi to me like I always stop I will always take a picture I always am excited to say hi and give you hugs and like talk to you it makes me so happy to put a face to the people that I'm talking to through this camera like I can't express enough how happy you guys make me and I genuinely love you so much I just you know in my last house like I just I just wanted privacy and um, I didn't want to feel like I was being watched like 24 7 I only want to be watched in the amount of minutes that I post on the internet in these videos if that makes sense so anyway that was a big reason that we had to move and I was never able to talk about it there are obviously other reasons too you know we wanted a bigger yard for our kids and we wanted just a better neighborhood a better school district um, we wanted to be a bit closer to family and friends you know there's a, a bunch of different reasons of why we wanted to move and why we felt we needed to move for our children and for our family but that was a big reason why we've been wanting to move for years and years and years so i'm gonna go i love you guys and it's my birthday in a couple days and oh my merch came out today so um if you want to go check that out you can but no pressure it's a holiday season it's a tough time no pressure at all but yeah and then also the childhood cancer fundraiser i am doing very soon i'm trying to figure out scheduling because obviously i'm in the middle of this big move my birthday is in a couple days for my birthday every year i do a childhood cancer fundraiser so i'm gonna try to set up the fundraiser as soon as possible so that like people can start donating as soon as possible but i'll let you know when that's up and then the fundraiser's probably going to be like somewhere in the first week of December but I'll let you know as soon as I know I just don't know yet because I've been so busy with all of this but it is like the top of my to-do list once you know I get a little settled in the home is setting up that child cancer fundraiser and raising as much money as we can I've been chatting with the um, Children's Hospital of Los Angeles to see when I can go visit and read to the kids and sing to them and get to know them and because I can finally do that I haven't been able to do that for years because of the pandemic and now they just emailed me and let me know that they're doing that again so I'm gonna go do that soon which I'm very excited about and I'm finding lots of wonderful organizations and kids that we can donate to so yeah all that is happening it's just I've also been moving and my family was sick and you know all the things that have been going on so anyway I love y'all I will talk to you very soon and see you next time okay